Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a journal with me video and I'm going to be using bits and pieces that I got in the mail last week. So some of these pieces are from my favourite designers um, that I bought on an online shop and some other things are from pen pals or little bits and pieces that I just really wanted to keep and look back on later in the future. So while I'm journaling, I actually wanted to read out a little poem, um, sort of a little po poem, but it's sort of a little story as well. So um, it's called Beauty and Dreams. It's now 2019 and I've had some new breakthrough moments. It's funny when life teaches you lessons. Apparently, life often teaches me when I'm jogging or in the shower. So this afternoon, I promised myself I would go for a jog. I have to start a routine and stick to it this year or I won't complete my main two goals. Finish my degree and get healthy and fit. So I ventured out for my afternoon jog where life was ready to start teaching. My mind wandered and I was fixated on all the things that wasted my time last year. I feel like I didn't accomplish as much as I would have liked and I blame beauty for that. I spent too long getting ready. I sometimes blamed my straight hair for reasons not to enjoy the beach or go do exercise because it would take me too long to wash and re-straighten my hair again. I would also avoid going anywhere in public if I didn't wear at least a little bit of makeup. I probably wasted hours every day dealing with beauty related issues when I could have spent my time doing something that allowed me to cross off my bucket list. And I haven't even mentioned how much it costs to stay externally pretty. Haircuts, hair colours, eyebrows, makeup, clothes, new outfits, shoes, and I'm on a budget. I can't even imagine what other people spend. Bags, Botox, nails, facials, designer clothes, tans, laser, gym and health foods. And I forgot to mention, on top of all the beauty maintenance, I have been focusing on my mental health and physical health. Am I eating properly? Should I exercise today? When's the last time I meditated? I feel drained. I need chocolate. Now I'm sick. My skin's breaking out. I need to exfoliate. My posture is bad. I'm sitting down way too long at work. Oh no, my bank account is running low. I need to budget. What should I cut down on? I'm never going to have time to read. Adulting is hard. I want to leave the constant chatter behind and focus on my dreams. What makes me happy instead of what's making me worry? Where is the balance? That's why I need a routine. I need structure. Days to laugh and play and dream and days to adult and get shit done. You can have both, but it takes self-discipline and allowing yourself to enjoy and be grateful for all the things in life. So I'm changing my 2019 goals to three major goals. I need to finish my degree and stay healthy and fit, but I also want to relax and let my frizzy hair down and let my bare face enjoy the outside world once in a while with no maintenance or worry. Um, so those are just the thoughts that have been running through my head lately. Um, I hope many of you may be able to relate. Um, but yeah, I really do want to make a change in 2019 and I want to worry less about the little things. Um, and I think everyone could implement that in their life in a certain way. I'm sure there's people out there who worry about different things. And not even, not even if it's worrying so much to a point that it actually affects your life but even in the back of your head there might be this stream of chatter that goes on that um that stops you from doing other things if that sounds like someone like you then maybe be more conscious of the things and the chatter that goes on in your head and see if you can cut down on some things this year in order to get in time like reading or enjoying things like going to the beach i really just need to do that a lot more rather than worrying about these other things so Thanks for listening to me today. I hope you enjoyed my little voiceover. Um, and also my journal with me video. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.